A horrible hit and run in Queens, and it took the life of a teenager riding his bike. 16-year-old Jaden McLaurin riding in Astoria when he was hit by a car, and the driver who never stopped. Now we're hearing from people who were close to Jaden about this enormous and senseless loss. I would assume reporter Morgan Norwood live in Astoria where a vigil is being held for the teenager. Morgan. Okay. Yeah, Bill, so heartbreaking. Up until a few minutes ago, there were about 100 people that gathered outside of this building. It was only until a few minutes ago that they decided to move everything down to the basketball court where that teen, Jada McLaurin, loved to spend his free time. Police were back out at the scene where a 16-year-old on a city bike was hit and killed by an unlicensed driver in Astoria, Queens. Citizen app video shows the intersection at 21st Avenue and 21st Street wrapped in crime scene tape. Surveillance video from a nearby business shows the teen on the city bike. Then you see the black BMW barreling down the street before he's hit. In this video from another nearby business, you hear the impact. Police say the driver of the BMW, 18-year-old Yazir Ibrahim, ditched the car and the scene, and 16-year-old Jada McLaurin died at the hospital. Couldn't believe it. Speechless. The term ball is life rang true for the teen. When he wasn't at school, he was here at the Variety Boys and Girls Club playing AAU ball for CM3. His coach, Charles Malone, says Jaden was special. Full of life. Um, got along with everybody in the neighborhood, everybody at the club. He just loved to play basketball. Jaden had just celebrated his 16th birthday and had just made the team, and even in the short amount of time, made an impact on his teammates and coaches. It was just a week ago that we had our first tournament of the year, um, and we actually won the championship, and Jaden was one of the star players, um, and he was actually given an award this past Wednesday for being the hardest worker on the team. We were looking forward to the next four years of having him represent CM3 in the Variety Boys and Girls Club. Um, but we are honored that we got him for the short time that we did. And it's a loss felt throughout his neighborhood. Candles at the basketball court in his apartment building and his neighbors in disbelief. It hit me. It hit me hard. And it hit so many of his neighbors. Again, more than 100 people showing up outside this building. So many they decided to again move it down to the basketball court. But tonight, that suspect, also a young person, we're learning that he faces charges of leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death, windshield tent violation, and no license.